expansion of the Emergencies Act for the first time in Canadian history is a damning indictment on the failure of this Prime Minister here, to address here. the situation. The Prime Minister once said, I quote, when a government asks its citizens to give up even a small portion of their liberty, it is not simply enough to say, trust us. That trust must be earned, it must be checked, and it must be renewed. These are his words. Canadians do not trust this Prime Minister. When will he stop undermining Canadians' rights and start renewing Canadians' trust? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, um, Canadians can trust that this government will always follow the science and the best evidence to get us out of this pandemic, and that includes getting vaccinated, Mr. Speaker. And contrary to what my colleague says, this is an illegal blockade. This illegal blockade is not about the, the vaccines or the mandates. It's about a very small, organized group who are trying to upend our way of life, Mr. Speaker. Now, we've made progress. We've seen the Ambassador Bridge reopened. We've seen Coots reopened. We've seen Surrey reopened. And, Mr. Speaker, yesterday, yes, we invoked the Emergencies Act so that we can secure that progress and give law enforcement all of the tools they need. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Well, we'll see if the Prime Minister answers this one. Every opportunity... Across this country. But now the Prime Minister has invoked the Emergencies Act to punish Canadians who, in his words, hold unacceptable views. Why is the Prime Minister punishing Canadians for their political views? The right, uh, the Honourable Government House Leader. That the former Conservative leader, uh, now the member for Regina Capel with the Conservative Party, said the following. These protesters, these activists, may have the luxury of spending days at a time at, the blockade, uh, at a blockade, but they need to check their privilege. They need to check their privilege and let the people whose jobs depend on the railway system and small business and farmers do their jobs. And what have they said now, in this context, from the beginning, as swastikas flew, as Confederate flags flew? They have absolutely the opposite of responsible leadership. Instead of de-escalating, they escalated at every turn. 